Hey folks, welcome back. We're going to be talking about Google's new Data Studio in this video. Now, Data Studio is a new product from Google. It was released in May 2016, and it's a business intelligence tool. It's free, and it's for small and medium business users. Now, they have an enterprise version called Data Studio 360, but in this video, I'm going to be talking about the free version, which is simply called Data Studio. Now, at the moment, at the current time of recording this video, June 2016, it's only available in the US, but I believe they're rolling it out to other countries later this year. So keep uh, keep tuned, folks, if you're not uh, in the US at the moment. Right, so how do we get this product? Well, we go to the URL called datastudio.google.com that I've got there. I'm going to hit return. Now, if it's the first time, you'll need to log in, obviously, but then you get to your home screen. Now, you can see uh, there's a few things going on here. We've got a whole bunch of templates that come loaded, preloaded with this, just to show you around this new tool. So welcome to Data Studio. It's a little tutorial they put together that's highly recommended and worth walking through. Uh, and then a few sample reports. And then here's a dashboard I created recently myself. But uh, what we'll do here is actually build a brand new one. So I come down to the plus button down here, the big blue plus. I click that and that's gonna create a new dashboard for me. Great, here we are, we're in. So let's rename it. Let's just call it uh, test dashboard. <clears throat> now we're gonna to want to connect to a data source. So I'm going to uh, create new data source. It takes me to this new panel here and you can see I have a bunch of options so I have some AdWords API, the big queries there, Google Analytics, which is the one we're gonna to link to in a moment, Google Sheets, which is huge, um, and then YouTube as well. So lots of lots of connections already to Google products, and they have more connections coming later this year to SQL databases, etc. So it's gonna be an exciting product. It's gonna be exciting to see where it goes. So let's connect to Google Analytics for now. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna choose one of the web properties that I'm an admin for, I'm going to click all website data, and then I come up here top right again and hit connect. And here we are, it just shows me the data it's going to be bringing in, so I'm fine with all of that. Um, and here we go. Now this blue button up here, add to reports, so I'm not going to touch any of this at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to add this to the report, add to report. And now we're ready. We're ready to start um, actually creating our dashboard. So. One of the things I'd like to do first, though, is just to um, change to a landscape setting for my dashboard. So page, current page settings, style, uh, and it's not here, in fact. Report and theme settings, I beg your pardon. So I can right click on the actual canvas here and bring up this menu, report and theme settings, uh, layouts, and there we go, landscape. So I just prefer that for my dashboards to have a sort of landscape view. So let's see how easy it is now to just add um, add some charts and some data to our to our dashboard. So I'm gonna start with a just a simple bar chart. So I click the bar chart logo, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna position that in the middle here and it already just builds one for me. So it's taking all website data for the data source it's adding the medium, which is the uh, x-axis down here, the categories, and then my metric, my y-axis up here, is the session. So let's just leave that as it is for now. That's fine. Uh, you know, I have some options here. I can choose some date ranges. I can filter. So, for example, I built uh, my, the the other dashboard I built was a social media dashboard, and I filtered to only show social media data. So let's just add that. Okay, let's add a, uh, a line chart, a time series. Just put that over here. And again, it'll choose a, um, a time dimension for me. And again, it's picked sessions just to show me the trends over time. Uh, I can also select and modify the styles. I can show the points, for example. I can make the line a little thicker if I wanted. I could change the color of the line. <clears throat> I can hide that uh, legend if I feel it doesn't add anything. 
Uh, you can change the grids, the backgrounds, the borders. So you can do a lot, of, a lot with the styles there. Uh, so that's pretty nice. We've got sessions on there. Uh, let's just add some a header to our to our new dashboard quickly. So I quite like to add a rectangle up here, just with some color. Let's choose a different color though. Um, let's go with a, a sort of darker gray, and then we'll add some text over the top of this. And then we'll call this text test. Yes, the big button is there, it's just very, very hard to see with the color scheme. So we're going to change that to white. And we're just going to fix that. Let's just highlight it. Let's make it a lot bigger. Okay, that's too big. Try 48. Let's resize that a little. Okay, so there we go, we're in business. Now, one of the really powerful things you can do with these Data Studio dashboards is add global filters. <clears throat> so I'm going to add a date filter here. So I click this date range. I'm just going to insert that here. And uh, let's just change the style to make sure it's white again so it shows up. And there we go, you can see it's added uh, that text there, select date range. So that's really powerful because it now will apply whatever range I select to both of my charts. Um, now you can select to only apply to individual charts and I'll show you that in a different video, but uh, just for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how that date range can just, just, just applies globally to your dashboard. So that's a very quick way of adding filtering controls. Um, so let's now go and take a look at what this dashboard looks like uh, as in the view mode. So you'll see up here, there's a toggle switch for editing. So I'm gonna switch that off. And there we go, it takes me into the view mode here. And you can see that the um, cross-hatching grid has disappeared now and we're just left with our two charts. So a couple of nice things you'll notice, it gives me um, the tool tip here showing the actual actual data, so that's quite nice. And again, over here as well, it gives you precise figures if you want them. Uh, and now let's take a look at that filter I mentioned. So I can come up here to select date range. It gives me some options. I can pick custom dates if I feel like it. I can choose um, some fixed periods that are very useful. So this is a quick way of doing it. So I'm gonna choose last seven days. I'm gonna hit apply and you'll see these charts will change. So see on the scale at the moment, it's saying 240,000 there organic and 16,000 sort of on the y-axis here for the for the line chart let's see how they change when I hit apply so it's upgrading uploading sorry okay there we go so that's now changed to um, 60k down from 240 so we've had we're, we're looking at a smaller period of time so obviously we'd expect to see less traffic um, coming to the website uh, let's take it back up to a let's do last quarter, so three months now, we should expect to see a lot more traffic coming to the website, and let's hit apply. And there we go, you can see now this has jumped back up uh, to be much higher, the charts changed, we've got a lot more uh, data showing in this chart over here as well. Now if I want to go back and keep editing, I just toggle the switch, so go back to edit mode, um, and then I can start playing with all of the other settings that are here. And now I'll, I'll do another video in due course to explain all the different options here, but we have basically uh, line charts, bar charts, pie charts, tables, geographic maps, scorecards, which are great for dashboards, scatter plots, bullet charts, and area charts. So the pretty comprehensive range of charts available to you. Then you have text and images you can put into your into your dashboards, some rectangles and circles to, to create graphics. And then, as I said, you have this these very powerful global filters. Um, so we have the date one, which I showed you, and then you also have a filter where you can, for example, filter on um, <coughs> device categories. So whether it's a mobile or whether it's a tablet or desktop, etc., would be an option to put that in. So uh, in another video, I'll show you all of these details. Um, for now, we'll uh, we'll say this is done. We're going to just get back to our um, view mode just to check it out one last time and say, okay, we're ready to now share this. 
So I come up and hit the share button up here. And you can either enter email addresses of people you want to give access to, whether they can view it or edit it. Uh, or you can simply grab this shareable link here. And again, you can control whether it's uh, editing or viewing only rights. And, and then you can copy this link, drop it an email, send it to someone and say, hey, guys, check out my uh, wonderful dashboard. Okay, folks, that's a very quick uh, introduction to Data Studio, a quick whiz around the tool. Uh, keep an eye out for a view video coming your way in the future when we're going to dive deeper into this tool. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, folks.